question is addressed to Mr. Swanson. Uh, you made it abundantly clear that you're very much against war, but what are your thoughts on us fighting war like World War II to fight the Nazis, and was that justified, and what not? Should we have fought that? I, I ain't gonna be able to do that in one minute. Uh, <laughs> I tried. Give it a good old college try. <laughs> Uh, nobody defends World War I, without which you couldn't have World War II. Nobody defends the incredibly disastrous way of ending World War I, which had wise people predicting World War II on the spot. Nobody serious anymore believes that it was a surprise attack that was not conscientiously provoked on the part of Japan, not which in no way, shape, or form excuses the brutality of the attack by Japan. Uh, nobody believes the lies from Franklin Roosevelt that there was a threat to the United States. You have to justify it as defending others. Uh, and nobody serious uh, thinks that all the myths about protecting the Jews have anything to do with the war at the time when there were conferences held around the world of the nations of the world refusing to accept the Jews, which the Nazis wanted to expel, not kill. Evian is not just bottled water, it's the location of the most famous conference where the Western nations said, we will not take any Jews because we too are racist. And Hitler said, you're a bunch of hypocrites I and amped out of cru cruelty toward the Jews. Uh, the World War II was the very worst thing in any short space of time that's ever happened on planet Earth. And the escalation, principally by the United States, notwithstanding the German and Japanese examples of bombing civilians, changed war from something in which principally soldiers died to something in which principally civilians died. World War II has never ended. Uh, the troops have never come home, the taxes have never gone back down, uh, the, the war machine has been made permanent, uh, and the disasters that have killed millions of people since World War II are a direct consequence of World War II, which happened in a completely different era when there were no nukes, there was no understanding of nonviolence as a tool of political change. There was colonialism and conquest as routine practices that do not compare in any way to the absolutely universal practices of international law today. It is irrelevant to go back 75 years to justify spending a trillion dollars a year of our grandchildren's unearned pay on a criminal institution that risks nuclear apocalypse and, and, and you know destroys our representative government and our environmental sustainability. Uh, and there is, it is the number one topic of U.S. entertainment, and that is a serious problem. Mr. Swanson.